Wear your dream girl's ball. We'll make you happy. I know, it's you gotta music. do the hand, You gotta too. do the hand, because if you don't do the hand, you're whatever. All right, that is the musical that sent Jennifer Hudson uh, skyrocketing to fame. Now an incredible cast is putting on the musical at the Goodspeed Opera House. You have to go and see this show. Oh, you have to. We've been singing the song since the commercials have been airing. We are joined now by Treja Bostic, who plays Effie, and she's gonna tell us all about this Motown-inspired production. Yes. Good morning, Treja. Good morning. It is so nice to see you. Thank you so much. I'm I really happy to be here. I know, thank you. <laughs> we see you on our TV. On yeah. Those I mean, those commercials are just morning. amazing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, all oh. the time. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy to know that. You were like a star here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, and, I'll right. take it. And speaking of stars, tell us how you got the role, because you got to be incredibly talented <laughs> to okay. get this role. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's a it's a great story. I was actually at work. I work at the I work for the Nederland organization. Um, I work for the Minskoff um, in all those theaters. Anyway, wow. I left work. A friend, a good friend of mine, was um, accompanying um, for the auditions and said, um, "Come to this place right now." I had no idea where I was going, but I trust them. And I said, "Okay." I hopped on a city bike, and You're I, kidding. I, I, I hopped on a city <laughs> bike and I jet to this location, and. Um, I, I run in, I'm still in my work clothes, I'm like, <sighs> I'm here. And they're like, calm down, breathe, Lillianne, our director. She's like, do you know why you're here? I said, no. I said, she said, okay, this is Dream Girls. I said, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. 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 And, and I, they told, gave me the music, said, can you sing this? I said, yes. And I sang, and they gave me um, sides. Can, can you do this? I said yes. Did them. Got a call back, um, and ev everything from there is history. Oh my wow. God! That's so yeah. wonderful. That's a great. I love the city. I love the bike story. The city bike story. I know that's amazing. You had it on a bike and yeah. you rode to that audition. Yes. And you scored it. Yes. Is uh, there pressure leading up to the Jennifer Hudson role? You know, do you compare? Is there comparison? And I, I made sure that I did none of that. Like okay. Effie, is a character that I revere and I've wanted to do and is very like near and dear to my heart okay. and so I just I wanted to bring treasure to the role so I just I didn't want anyone to be able to put any kind of comparison on mm -hmm. it. And I said, this is going to be Treasure's Effie. Love it. And, and that is what it's going to be, you yeah. know, so. You don't want to get in the mind games, right? Because no. Because everyone brings something unique to the character, which Absolutely. they play. Absolutely. Just like Jennifer Holiday did yes. when it first uh, yes. started. And they're both iconic. And right. I wanted to have my own situation going yeah. on, you know? Um, what is one of your favorite songs, would you say? Is it, I, I think we may know, but I always want to ask this question. Hey. What do you think it is? <laughs> That was my job. I, he does. Maybe he can be an understudy. Honestly, come on. I don't know. I don't know. Bring it. But know when you that. watch that song yeah. play out in the movie, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, did you ever think that you would be taking on this role? Yes. Yes. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, that's good. Yes. Manifestation is yes, a thing. I yeah. did. But my, I would have to say my favorite song of the show that I do is I Am Changing. Mm. I Am Changing. Yeah, yes. It's a beautiful song. Yes. It is, especially now having lived some life. It, it used to be, and I'm telling you, and now, yeah. Nah, it's I Am Changing. I tell it. For yeah. those of us who, you know, who have lived under a rock and have never seen the movie, tell us about what the product, you know, tell us about the story. Okay, so Dream Girls is the story about these um, three young girls, they're all 18 and 17, Effie, Laurel, and um, Dina. And they are on this journey to try and be these superstars. They want to be famous, you know? It's in the 60s. It, it's, it's... And when girl groups are girl, just really starting Girl groups, the yeah. guy groups, like everybody is like grinding and they, they go to the Apollo and they're, they're looking for their shot. Um, and so you just follow their lives through, you know, the hardships of being mm. three young black women in... The, the entertainment scene during mm -hmm. that time and seeing their hardships as as individuals as 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 growing adults um, as artists mm -hmm. and we follow that through line of just 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 seeing what that life mm -hmm. was like for them and not just for the women for the men too yeah, right absolutely. you know Kurt we talk, we talk about Curtis but you know Curtis he was hungry for he was hungry as well they were all hungry and mm -hmm. they went about it in different ways and so you see those those 
those um, stories um, unfold throughout the entire production. It's beautiful. Right. And not only, you know, their individual stories and their collective story as a group, yes. but also, you know, some historical events are playing out through this production, such as World War II and the Civil Rights Movement. Mm -hmm. What is it like covering those kinds of events through the song? I... I would have to say only because my career has allowed me to do so much of that. I, I, mo the majority of the things I have done have been based in in that, be in that era mm. because it's just so it's still so prominent. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's it's an honor to be able to continue to tell those stories, mm -hmm. to, to make sure that we continue to give light to those stories mm -hmm. because they're they're important. Yeah, they're you're not, important. You're not there for just one night only. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thank you. He You're was welcome. On that for a I, I just, I just, when, when is the show, and how do we get tickets, and how, where do we go? All right. So right now we are. The show is going from now to December 30th. Oh, we got Great. time to get there. You have time. We have the whole rest of the year. Now oh, be, so be quick though, because these tickets are selling. Yeah. Like good. a lot, a lot of the the shows have been sold out since. Wow. Um, since, I would like to say since early this month and in and, and September. So yeah, start start looking looking that up right now. But you okay. go to goodspeed.com. Um, you could also come up to the the opera house yourself, Goodspeed Opera House. Um, Beautiful location, right? Yes. Uh, right. And I, yes. That's a historic place I in itself. I think you yeah. and you and you <laughs> You're gonna love me. I think we so too. You already do, Scott. Oh, I thank think you. so. You're gonna too, love Scott. her. Oh, you're gonna love her. You're gonna her. love her. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I'm really enjoying this role so well, we're much. So and it's an honor. You came with us today. Thank so nice you. to meet you. So wonderful thank to meet you, you too. Just one thank note. you. I told you I had to prep you for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. All right. You have to come, you have to come and see show. Yes. Melissa, so take it away. <laughs>